What's up world, it's Dallas with Gadget Hacks. And today I'm going to show you how to get an Android 5.0 style reset apps menu on almost any Android device. So if you're stuck on KitKat, or even an older version of Android, you're probably getting a little jealous of the beautiful new material design version of Android that's due out in a couple of weeks. If not, you must not have seen the new UI, because it really is gorgeous. But you don't have to upgrade your phone if you want some of these new features and UI elements. In fact, you can get a nearly perfect replica of Android 5.0's new recent apps menu today. This is all made possible by an app called Fancy Switcher from developer Jeremy Kabish. And it's available for free on the Play Store, so search it by name to get it installed. When you first launch Fancy Switcher, the app will take you through a nice feature tour. But I'll skip over all this and instead show you the features myself. Now if you want to get the new 5.0 style task switcher going, start by hitting up this style option right up top. From here, select Android L, and then you'll be just about ready to go. There's a couple of different ways to access this task switcher, and they're both pretty convenient. First, the app posts an ongoing notification to prevent Android from clearing it from memory. If you tap that, you'd be taken directly into the new Recents view. But a more integrated option would be to set this as your default home button long press action. To do that, just press and hold your device's home button, or swipe up from the bottom of the screen on devices with software navigation keys. But from this menu, go ahead and select Fancy Switcher, then press Always. The new Android 5.0 Recents menu should come right up at this point, and you can get to this using the same gesture from here on out. The interface is quite nice, actually, and it does a great job of replicating Lollipop's new Recent Apps menu and its functionality. But you may have noticed this little blue bubble floating on the edge of the screen. That's another cool feature of Fancy Switcher, actually. To adjust settings for this one, open your Recent Apps view and tap the Settings icon at the bottom of the screen. From here, select Smart Slider, and that will give you some options for this neat little feature. Basically, it allows you to swipe in from the trigger area here, and that flips between your open apps with a cool little animation. You can disable it if you want to, but I'd recommend giving it a try. Then you can adjust the margins and location of the trigger area with these two options. And if you scroll down a bit, you can even disable the blue indicator. And for an in-app purchase of 274 you can unlock a whole lot of extra options. Obviously though, the main feature here is this beautiful task switcher view, and it definitely doesn't disappoint. But for the full breakdown, be sure to check out my article at the link in the description below. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks. But until then, happy gadget hacking.